Why all the secrecy? We're pouring every resource we have into this thing. We can't risk tipping off the Institute. For now, the fewer people that know about it, the better. Come on, it's this way. Unless you're blind as a bat, I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry on the tarmac. Maxon and Kells have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Now, the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new project comes in. So much walking. Want to do more fighting? Brotherhood ain't real fun. This of storage doors. bay full of parts Feelings is what's mutual. left of Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Strong oh, right. was super Liberty super Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need... Before you run off, maybe you should listen to your orders. This robot isn't going to build itself. Steelmen are worthy warriors. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. My help? I don't know a thing about robot repair. Why don't we leave the repairing to my scribes? You're going to be doing the legwork. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. The first problem is his CPU. It's fragile, and every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. Why is the power blowing out his CPU? Liberty Prime has a highly complex power system. A good deal of that system was damaged when he exploded. So I'm working in the dark trying to come up with parts on my own. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving. Strong hope we find milk of human kindness soon. So many humans, not many super mutants. My father is just going to The world is bigger than Strong knew. Someday, super mutants kill everything. Strong getting hungry. Want someone to eat? What I wouldn't give for my own suit of power armor. Strong wish he understand you better. Nothing's more satisfying than a smoking gun and a pocket full of caps. Sir, I remember eagerly. Charging into a situation. Attention. This is a reminder. Any recovered historical, technological, or social documentation should be delivered directly to Proctor Quinlan. We'll stop the Institute. From that is all. If you're here to talk me into working on Liberty Prime, you can forget it. What changed your mind? Nothing changed my mind. I promised you I'd return to the Brotherhood, and I've kept my end of the bargain. Do I need to remind you why you made that promise in the first place? Of course not. But you neglected to mention that I'd be asked to work on Liberty Prime. I've been down this road with the Brotherhood before. Why would I make the same mistake twice?
Why won't you help us with Liberty Prime? We deserve an answer, Doctor. I originally left the Brotherhood because I was tired of being stepped on and used. First, there was the Water Purification Project, designed to freely benefit the entire Capital Wasteland. Even though the Brotherhood allowed it to be activated, they wanted to control it. But that wasn't enough. They forced me to help design Liberty Prime. Turned my work into a weapon of war. I had enough, so I left. It's as simple as that. Because... Because we care what happens to the Commonwealth. And we want to stop the Institute from using its technological superiority as a weapon. You know, if anyone else wearing a Brotherhood of Steel uniform said something like that, I'd laugh in their face. But, coming from you, it sounds like you actually mean it. Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes ready. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online, but we'll get it done. You haven't lived until you tip a Brahmin with a vertebrae. Now that's a challenge. Proctor. Well, things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Hmm, charming, isn't she? Did we make a mistake asking her to help? Nah, no, don't worry about it. We might not be best buddies, but we'll get the job done. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. We're working with one of Prime's original designers. I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, since things are going so well, we're gonna have you start building his electromagnetic actuators. What do the actuators do? Pretty simple, really. The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in his limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Now before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck. 